thanks to the height, one unit, one bridge. The crown height is a little bit smaller. Hi, and welcome back to Unica Dental Show, where we discuss interesting cases and new procedures in the field of dentistry. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow to stay tuned up to date. Today, as always, with us is Dr. Yaniv. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Amazing, how are you? Great. So what did you bring for us today? Today, we want to show a case where we had a patient with a bridge on a couple of implants. Mm -hmm. And the patient had two crowns on two teeth. The teeth uh, with extensive caries and you need to extract the teeth, as you can see. There is an implant here and here is the teeth. Yeah, those are, those are the teeth that beneath those crowns. Mm -hmm. And we changed the teeth to a bridge with the media loading. And the most important thing that we want to show is how we did that and the considerations that we had in all of this procedure. We extracted both of the implants, both of the teeth, and added an implant on the first premolar area. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, because we have two osno integrated implants, we can make a bridge on those three implants and we can use the new implant for immediate loading. In regular cases, it's not recommended to use one implant for immediate loading because there are a lot of extensive forces that uh, goes on this implant and it can harm the process of the osteo integration. So when you have already two osteo integrated implants and you just add in one more implant to them, you can reduce the height of the crown on this implant and the forces on this implant will be a little bit smaller. Mm. Thanks to the height? Yeah, thanks to the height of the crown. This is the bridge that we had before mm -hmm. uh, on those two implants. The bridge uh, on the two osteointegrated integrated implants. We've added one more implant with heel and cap. And what we want to do now is we want to immediately load this implant and subsequently those two implants with the the bridge we want to make them one bridge and this way we can immediately load the new implant one unit yeah one unit one bridge this is the new bridge that was done and i see thinner uh, smaller screw smaller yeah screw you channels. can see the small screw channels you can see how small the screw, screw channels are uh, in here you have five unit bridge on three implants mm -hmm. you have very small screw channels so the bridge is very strong. In immediate loading, the most important part is you need the you need that the bridge will hold three months, three four months, because Why? the the implant the most fragile part of the implant is those three months. Oh, you mean the, uh, when you yeah. put implants when you immediately load an implant, you need the implant to be restored uh, perfectly for three months. After three months, you can remove the bridge, you can change it, you can do everything. Before you cannot remove the bridge. No, it's it's not recommended because you can remove it with the implant. Oh, <laughs> bad bad situation. I yeah. Think. So if the bridge will break down between those two implants, you'll have a problem because one of the implants is not also integrated and you don't know how many forces will be applied on this implant and how long will it hold. Mm -hmm. In many cases, it will just reject and you'll stay with two implants. Plastic pins. Yeah, this is the PMA bridge that we saw. Mm -hmm. We have uh, plastic pins that will close the holes. Uh, the bridge has as much material as possible to be strong and in this bridge, the two premolars we made a little bit smaller mm -hmm. because we don't want more forces to be applied on the newly added implant. So you you made them smaller with the yeah the apical occlusal part of the the crown. The crown height is a little bit smaller in order to take pressure out of them. Yeah, in order to take a little bit of pressure out of those crowns. So for the next uh, two three months less pressure will be on this implant and the probability that we, you will also integrate and everything will be, will be fine is much higher. This is the final restoration. You can see from the zirconia with glaze. You can see that the gingival part is without glaze at all because this is the part where you don't want to have a plaque accumulation 
So this part will be, will be from zirconia, and this part, part will be just polished, as polished as possible. You can see the color of the glaze. You can see that the, the grounds looks very nice. Very nice. Yeah, no, no, the color is amazing. Yeah, the color is amazing. And you did uh, it in your uh, clinic? Yeah, color. we did it in our clinic. We closed the, the screw channels. That's all. Great bridge, three implants, and uh, five crowns. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for being with us today. Don't forget to follow, like, share, subscribe to stay tuned up to date. Have a great day. Thank you.